favorites of uh, the film we just watched. Some famous people talking about the unveiling and the releasing of the ego. Ego is the worst confidence trickster we could ever figure, we could ever imagine. Because you don't see it. And the single biggest problem is, I am you. The problem is that the ego hides in the last place that you'd ever look within itself. It disguises its thoughts as your thoughts, its feelings as your feelings. It, you, you think it's you. People's need to protect their own egos knows no bounds. They will lie, cheat, steal, kill, do whatever it takes to maintain what we call ego values. People have no clue that they're in prison. They don't know that there is an ego. They don't know the distinction. At first it's difficult for the mind to accept that there's some something beyond itself, that there's something uh, of, of greater value and greater capacity for discerning truth than itself. In religion, the ego manifests as the devil. And of course, no one realizes how smart the ego is because it created the devil, so you can blame someone else. In creating uh, this imaginary external enemy, we usually, usually made it a real enemy for ourselves. And that becomes a real danger to the ego, but that's also the ego's creation. There is no such thing as an external enemy, no matter what that voice in your head is telling you. All perception of an enemy is a projection of the ego as the enemy. In that sense, you could say that 100% of our external enemies are of our own creation. Your greatest enemy is your own inner perception, it's your own ego. Ego's anger. It's not really your anger, it's the ego's anger. The ego is angry. And the ego is angry at God. The ego wants God to pronounce its fantasy world, its world of hypotheticals, its make believe world is real. It's been waiting for millennium for God to cave in like a big spiritual temper tantrum. Just get angrier and angrier and hope that God will finally go, Oh, right! Have your fantasy world. Go ahead. <laughs> I've had enough of this whining and complaining and raging for so many millennium. You know, like, like a child, a wild child who wants the parent to cave. He wants the candy, you know, at the checkout line. Cries, screams, goes a big fit, hoping that mom and dad will finally cave. And go, All right! Have the Snickers bar then, you know, just be quiet, don't make such a fuss. But see, the, the ego is never going to get pronounced as real, and its fantasy world, which, which is a projection, you know, God, God knows spirit, so God's never going to cave in and say, go ahead, have your... So whenever you get angry, just think the next time, it's not what it seems. If you seem to be angry at a person, if you seem to be angry at a circumstance in this world, a situation, it's just the ego getting angry again because it wants to be right about its, its identity. And remember that that's your choice, that's your chance to disidentify from it. See that that's not, that's not really you. Okay, our final clip of the night.